Hello, boys and girls. How are you? Mr. Paust here in the science lab. Starting to feel more like my private office. Loving it. I got the midi bear here. Arr. Feeling excited for today. We have the Luna Moth. And just a quick story for you. So the first time I saw a Luna Moth was, it was last year. And it had just rained the night before. And I woke up early. I'm an early riser. I woke up at like 5 in the morning. And I went on my back porch and I saw a beautiful Luna moth. I mean, it was enormous. Um, I got big hands. It was probably about the size of my hands. And uh, it was just it was just sitting there. And um, I was amazed. So I looked it up and I was like, all right, that's called the Luna moth. And now I have a story today to teach you more about the Luna moth. What is that weird but cute animal? It's a Luna moth. White fuzzy body, fluttering lime green wings. A luna moth is an insect with huge wings. Its wingspan is four to five inches, 10 to 13 centimeters. That's about the width of a grown up's hand. Yes, and it was huge. Um, I remember just seeing it. Uh, very gentle. And, uh, you know, it, it just, the patterns were amazing. It was, it was beautiful, but it was large for an insect. Poking out of the moth's head are two yellow antenna. They look like feathery combs. They do kind of look like combs. Uh, moths use their antenna to feel and to smell. Many insects use the antenna for the same purpose. So that's a male luna moth. And a male luna moth can sniff out a female from seven miles away. That's really far. And they're using their sense of smell. Okay. Uh, a moth's life begins as an egg. You can see the egg there in the top left corner. After the egg hatches, a hungry caterpillar crawls out. There's caterpillars. You probably see those all the time. They're crawling around on the ground or maybe in a tree. Munch, munch, munch. Just constantly eating. It gobbles up lots of leaves. There's a caterpillar. And Luna moths live in forest in North America. That's where we are in North America. After a month, the chubby caterpillar spins a cocoon. It wraps itself up in silk and leaves. There's a cocoon. Ah, very cool. It's like hidden. About three weeks later, an adult moth wiggles out. There's a moth. There's a cocoon. Before a month, before a moth hatches from its cocoon, it's called a pupa. I've heard that word before, pupa. At first, the luna moth's wings are damp and crumpled. Soon they dry and unfold. Look at that. It's a little bit of time. Now the moth is ready to flutter through the forest. Luna moths, like most, most moths, fly only at night. So that's probably why I saw it early in the morning. It was probably flying at night. And when I got out, it was around 5 in the morning. It was just before sun sunrise. Uh, it, I saw it. Watch out. Bats love to eat luna moths. The insects have a way to escape, though. They spin their long tail tendrils. This motion confuses the bat. When the moth, then the moth can fly away. There's a bat. His mouth is open. A luna moth can still fly even if its tendrils are damaged. Wow. Luna moths have four dark spots on their wings. These spots look like big eyes, and they do from a distance. You know, it could be intimidating, but it's just a design. Boo! They scare away other enemies such as birds, and I guess that's why they have them, so that, you know, the predators see them, and they look like giant eyes, and they're like, I am not going near that. The color of a luna moth's wings also keep it safe. Its green wings blend into the leaves. This helps the insect hide, which we call camouflage. Got it. Yes. This is so cool. I love this book. All right. An adult luna moth never takes a bite of food. Why? This insect has no mouth or stomach. What? No mouth or stomach? An adult luna moth lives for only one week. Well, that's sad. 
All right, more weird moths. The comet moth. Look at that one. With ten with ten inch wings, it's one of the world's largest moths. Like the Luna moth, its adult life is short, less than less than a week. All right, here we go. The death head hawk moth. Hmm. This moth is named for the spot on his back that looks like a skull. If you poke a death head hawk moth, it will squeak. Oh, that's that's unsettling. So you just touch a moth and it squeaks at you? <laughs> what? Are you a mouse? Didn't know that. Oh, the Venezuela poodle moth. Look at this one. That looks like a Pokemon character or like a villain. The Venezuela poodle moth. This fuzzy moth is small enough to sit on the tip of your finger. Right there. Its body is covered with thick white hair. Its hair is so thick that it is hard for enemies to swallow it. Ah, defense. Thick hair. All right, we got a glossary. We got antenna. The two body parts on an insect's head used for feeling and smelling. A cocoon. A silky covering that some insects make to protect their bodies while they grow. An insect, a small animal that has six legs, three main body parts, two antenna, and a hard covering. Tendrils, long, thin, stem-like body parts. All right, so the Luna Moth, another insect added to our list. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're excited. Right now it's Friday. Uh, you might be watching this video on a Monday or Tuesday, but I hope the day is fantastic for you regardless. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you soon.